Protesters marched down Friendly Avenue in Greensboro. Today I am protesting the war between Russia and Ukraine. This road, significant. Organizers say they want people to know that Ukrainians are friendly and don't deserve this war. We thought the fighting would be confined to the eastern, far eastern parts, and now it's the whole country. Many who attended this rally said they have both friends and family overseas. Well, my hometown, um, every two hours or so, there is an aerial attack. So they just run to the bomb shelters, no connection. Then we connect for a few minutes. They say we are alive. And then the cycle repeats itself every couple of hours. We have a lot of friends. Um, we have family. I have a brother. Um, who lives in Ukraine, and of course, um, we have difficult, we have a hard time sleeping at night these days. Joining the march, people from Belarus, Lithuania, Ukraine, the United States, and even Russia. Ten-year-old Elizabeth and her family said they don't support this war. We hate what's going on, and I feel really ashamed that we're doing this, but I know that not all Russians are for this. Um, I know that not every Russian is the evil person that most people think they are. Ukraine is in a dire need of, of help, and it's not about Ukraine anymore. It's, it's about the world. Both young <laughs> and old started at Trinity Church on Friendly Avenue and walked over two and a half miles down to Friendly Center. My hope is that this demonstration gathering will, will draw more attention to what's happening in Ukraine and maybe hopefully more help. Some holding signs and flags from their country. Others hold the Ukrainian flower, a sunflower, while oncoming cars honk in support. Being over 5,000 miles away from friends, family and loved ones, all they can do is march. I know that I can't do that much, but if this is all I can do, then I'll do it. Different groups of people come together to support the same cause. In Greensboro, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.